Yep, it's freezing. And if you've ever camped in cold weather, you'd know that sleeping warm at night is a real challenge. But what if I told you I've got a way to generate heat using sand? So today I'm showing you how to make a sand battery, something that should heat up your tent with just a couple of candles. This might be genius or a total failure. Either way, we're gonna test it out. Now this is a six person tent, so it's probably a little bit bigger, but I need my space. So here are the ingredients. Metal bread pan from Kroger, sand from Home Depot, some copper strips that I found on Amazon, and a couple candles. Now that'll generate the heat. However, the heat's just gonna kind of radiate straight up. So for that, also bought a little stove fan. We're gonna see how well this works. Now this thing should kick on once there's a good difference between the temperature right here and the outside temp. So before we get to the test, let's head into the shop and build this thing. So welcome everybody to the beast mode workbench. This is a bench where I'm gonna do some work. The first thing we're gonna do is cut open this package and uh, bend it a little bit. I'll leave a link in the description, but I got these strips for like 15 or 20 bucks. I wish it was cheaper, but it did come with like a pound of it and it looks like it was scraps, but they're nice scraps. All I'm doing here is I want to put this in and put a little mark, probably an inch above where the container stops so that I can, that's where I'm going to make the bend. Lucky for me, it looks like it's only about halfway up. So I'm going to bend it right about there and I'm going to use a very special tool called a corner. Don't forget to remove the plastic coating on the underside. You don't want fumes going everywhere. I'm thinking to get the most amount of heat out of it. I should have made the bend a little bit shorter. The good thing is these are pretty malleable, so I'm not too worried about messing them up. But I do want them somewhere around the same height. The sand feels almost a little bit moist, which is probably fine, but I do want it nice and packed in there so this thing doesn't get all wibbly wobbly. Before I put those in, let me get the candles. Now the good thing is each one of these candles is supposed to last about four hours. I later found these on Amazon that claim they last eight hours. I'd recommend these instead. I got a bunch of them for like four bucks up at Kroger. Now that's pretty perfect. Now that's a sand battery and basically what it's supposed to do is you light the candles, it heats up the copper, and the copper takes the heat back into the sand, and this whole thing should heat up. Well, let's do one better. <laughs> Will it sit? It sits. Now I've got a thermometer that I'm going to use in a little bit, but this thing should warm up to about 300 degrees. That seems kind of hot. So use it your own risk. You're gonna have fire, you're gonna have flame, you're gonna have some heat. I'm probably gonna choose to put something plastic or maybe even cement to keep it from burning my tent later. But future Tony, that's for you. All right, so I just took it for a test run in the house. And one thing I noticed that I didn't like was when I put the fan on there, these were bouncing just a little bit, just enough to go. I didn't like that. That's what I'm gonna do is right about here, I'm gonna bend them back down to where it's more of this shape. That should give it a little bit more structure and something to hold on to. Not to mention, this extra piece right here is gonna get a lot more of the cold air or anything if you've got a fan or if it's just cold out hitting that. So if, by putting it back into the sand, it's gonna be able to retain a lot more heat. So something like that. Presto Majesto. Now, it was about 31 degrees outside. However, it's already showing it to be 41 degrees in here. 
It's probably just because of my body heat and, and I was probably handling the thermometer a little bit too long. Hot hands. Let's get a quick reading. So the sand is currently about 35 degrees. And for the test, similar to last time, I'm going to use my beast chain and I'm going to hang the thermometers, one down low and one up high, just so we can get different readings because we all know the heat rises. Just like the last video, I'm going to say that you want to keep yourself off the ground as much as possible. The higher you can get, the warmer it's going to be because all that heat rises. Now I got to say, I got the idea for this because one of our community members, Cosby Fish, challenged me to heat up the tent with a battery. So in that video, I took a battery with a pluggable heater and an inverter and heated up the tent. Now that worked pretty good. However, it was only able to work for a couple hours before it drained the battery. These candles each should get about four hours worth of life out of them. And obviously you can buy bigger candles that will last a bit longer. I do want those to be a bit closer together. So I've got pretty high hopes for this thing. So not only is it going to provide some warmth, but check out that ambiance. And it's pretty low cost, so you keep the money. <laughs> Alright, so we got one last thing to do. And all that's for is a little bit of fan to push the air around, because we all know that sitting in a tent, it's stale air. At least if you've got your rain fly up. So let's check the temperature now. So after just about two minutes, it's already at about 65 degrees. Let's let that go for a little bit. Now for the disclaimer. I don't recommend that you do this while you sleep. Never leave a fire unattended. Always pay attention to your fire. And if you're gonna do something dumb, you better be tough. But in all actuality, I wouldn't recommend leaving this on while you sleep, whether you're out camping or at the house. You just never know what gremlins are lurking about. But the good news is, with this, once it heats up, it's going to store a lot of heat for a long time. Probably even a few hours with no wind. I'm sitting probably two and a half to three feet away, and I can feel that. It's not a giant gust of wind or anything, but I can definitely feel the air circulating. And the coolest thing about this fan is it runs on zero electricity. It actually takes the heat, turns that into electricity. There is like a little diode or something in there. There's a couple wires that makes that work. Whoever came up with that is genius. Okay, even after literally maybe three more minutes, we're at 76 degrees already. Keep in mind, it's freezing outside. So I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna play a couple games of League of Legends real quick and uh, with the magic of editing, I'll be right back. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and it's registering about 46 degrees up here. But let's take a look and see what this is registering at now. So it looks like anywhere from 109 to 111 in here. We'll let it go for maybe another hour and we'll check back. Also, I can tell a noticeable difference between right here and right here. This is really, really warm. This is just mediocre warm. And for this test, I didn't want a lot of gear in here, so I'm not even sitting on a sleeping pad right now. Let's see if we get a reading here. So right there, you see that one is showing about 121.6. It's getting late and I could fall asleep. But we got more tests to do. So while I was outside, it heated it up to about 200 degrees. Now as you can see inside here, it's getting a max temperature of about almost 350 degrees. Now I have let this one run quite a bit longer because it was getting late and it was time to get some sleep. But I will say it got almost about 46, getting close to 50 degrees in the tent. Now that's not bad. Now if I would have let it go for longer, it might have heated up the tent a bit more, but I don't think you're going to get a whole lot more out of it. Now, I did make one slight modification as well. I added two more candles and that's only so I can get it warmer quicker. 
So if you want to get something to heat up that tent, I don't know if this is going to be the thing. I still think the buddy heater is probably going to be your best bet. The tent stove is awesome, but you also need to get a tent that works with that. I've got videos on both. So if this is the type of content for you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you later. If you like this type of content, make sure you check out our YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. If you want to see our newest adventures, be sure to click the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss another video.